I will go for take two then, being as I forgot to plug my microphone in again. <laughs> Morning, people. <laughs> One of these days I will do a blooper reel, because I do keep them all. Um, but anyway, yeah, mainstream media. So, protests yesterday. Your own news production, ITN, gets invaded by a protest, actually in the building. Did you report on it? No. <laughs> it's so, your bias is so open, it's, it's totally blatant how biased you are towards the narrative. Can't even put out the truth. But uh, anyway, in other news, as you know, I don't often get involved in what goes on in other countries around the world at the moment. I watch it, but uh, I don't put a lot out on it. Well, except for France, as I said yesterday. Now, Boris and the bumbling idiot Biden asked for, or going to ask for an extension to help get the people out of Afghanistan that they need to. Now, the Afghans said they're quite happy to talk. They want to be a regular government, etc., this, that, and the other. And straight away, they're issuing threats. Anything coming in after the deadline, the 31st of this month, there will be actions and repercussions. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Because we know the incompetent Biden and the bumbling Boris and personally I, I think they should be on the end of the queue for the mental health issues, to be honest. Do they believe the Taliban Taliban have changed? Well they seem to think so, but from what I'm seeing, no, they ain't changed one bit. If they changed that much they wouldn't be walking around with AK forty sevens, would they? And they're already turning back to their old tricks over there, apparently. Um, you know, taking people out. The mess you two clowns have made of this. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, the lives of these people were in your hands and you've let them down. Just like you've let us down. Now, on a, a related topic, as I said before... Um, Tracy XX, TWXX down there in Dover is highlighting what's going on with the imports across the channel. Record numbers over the weekend. Again, they go up daily, the numbers. Now, mainstream media actually did a quick segment on this this morning on the news. And surprise, surprise, they actually more or less put out the correct numbers. But they said that these people were intercepted as they were illegally crossing. There's no interception about it, you clowns. It's been done with the uh, blessings of the French government and the British government. They're not being intercepted, they're being escorted. The French are bringing them to the middle of the channel, where board force picks them up, brings them in. This is not interception. This is importation. Now this country is full, and you said you want to bring up to 20,000 Afghans into this country. Well, by the time they get their legal papers and are allowed to bring their families across, that 20,000 will reportedly become 140,000. We haven't got the housing from. So you said, we must build more housing. Well, how about this for an idea? Yes, build more housing. But before you put any of these people in them, offer them to the very people that de defended them for the last 15 or so years. Offer them to our veterans 
that fought in Afghanistan, for Afghanistan, that are now living on the streets or in poverty or in, you know, downgraded housing, disgusting places. How about that for an idea, Boris? Or is that too much of an easy idea for you to come up with? As you seem to do everything the longest and the most expensive way. Look after our own first. Yeah, I'm sure many of you agree with me on that. Um, and please follow Tracy down in Dover, support her. I'll leave a link to one of her streams or whatever in the comments below, in the description below. Please go and sub. She deserves our support for what she's doing. And we've got to get it through to these treasonous, corrupt arseholes that they're running the country on our behalf, on our behalf. But they're not. They're following their own narrative, their own agenda. You know what I'm hinting at there. And now to Australia again. After the disgusting antics they got up to the weekend. Um, I will put some clips on the end of um, my little cat. Um, several people have asked to see her again. So I will put a, a small segment at the end of this video. But now their truckies have said 31st of this month, they're going to bring the country to a standstill with their trucks. And they're not just talking about driving around the cities. They're talking about turning up blocking all government buildings, blocking ports, blocking roads, blocking towns and cities, parking up and walking away. And they said, with the amount of trucks they're going to be putting out there, it will take the authorities months to clear them. And they're even warning the people, the truckies, stock up with food now this week, stock up with the essentials, because you won't be able to move anywhere. And I say to you, Australian truckies, Excellent, guys. This is the sort of action that's needed around the world, not just in your country. I know you've got it bad. Your government is so corrupt, it's unbelievable. <coughs> uh, anyway, short one today. Um, I've got a lot of things to go through. So, my respects to you all, as usual. Um, thank you for your support. Um, there are other people that deserve a lot more support. Agent X, for one, fighting the corruption in the police. She's had a terrible time of it. Again, I'll leave a link to uh, her channel. Please follow her story from the beginning. It's horrifying what they've done to this poor woman. So until then, respects to each and every one of you. Stay safe, stay strong, stay absolutely free from tyranny, and here comes the Wazza, as I call her. See you on the next one. You're not getting many. You're too fat. You're too fat. Yeah. But they have carried out a number of attacks. They've had over 200 clashes with both um, under the previous government that was only just been overthrown. Um, they've had clashes with the Afghan security forces, with the Americans, and also the yeah. Taliban. They fight they all gone. everybody. Um, they are the sort of yeah, chaos destructors, as it were. And they would love mm -hmm. to set up a new caliphate. They already refer to their activities there as Islamic State Khorasan Province. This is their word for, the, for their entire... How could anybody, a, a little pushy cat um, like you... The, hmm? Nevertheless, despite the fact they don't like the Taliban, yeah. their supporters are hailing this as yeah. uh, a victory for violent jihad. Uh, there you go, people. That's the lovely little cat. That's the worry. That's Wazza. <laughs>